Hi there, J and J here. Well, today we want to talk to you about something very important. And let's just say this: few people can make us mad like our kids. If we're being honest. Now, in our very first vlog that we did, we talked about someone that we call upon upon in that anger mode. And today we want to talk about something that can really it's a hot tip to help you not call upon that inner lawyer, if you will. Okay, so if you missed that, that was our first empowerment parenting vlog, but not our very first vlog. So if you missed it, go back on <laughs> our <is> channel <laughs> and look for the inner lawyer and you'll know what we're talking about. But this is something really simple. It almost seems obvious and yet it's something that's really hard for us to do. I do not think it is obvious. <laughs> Just saying. So when something happens and we begin to feel rage start to climb up, doesn't happen for me. What we can do is call pause. We just literally press pause. Fake freeze. <laughs> Not like that. I had no idea what she was doing. But that's a pause. <laughs> More of like a mental pause inside your head. Now, really, ideally, if you can get away, that's the best. If you can say to your kid, I am so angry right now that I need to go take a moment and I need to get perspective, so I will be back. Please stay here or go in your room or do something. Pray. When you pray, yeah, you can tell them to pray, but you need to go pray. No, uh-huh, I'm gonna go pray. <laughs> I'm gonna be mad and pray. Right. So when you get alone, that's the first step in the pause, is to pray. Calm down. First, you might need to do some physical stuff. Like, it depends. Some people calm down by, like, deep breathing. Other people need to, run like, around run it off or something. <laughs> Whatever it is, do what you need to do to physically calm your body down. Punch the punching bag out in the garage. The punching bag, not the person. <laughs> the literal punching bag. That's um, what I meant. So then you need to stop and say, what is the root of the problem here? What is going on? What And what do I think needs to be done to fix it? Think through some of the steps that you think need to happen during that moment of pause. And before you go back and address the child, make sure that you're not thinking about the bad thing that made you so mad because the anger is just going to come right back up. Take a few minutes to really think about what's great about your kid. Think so about you can all call the out the second vlog that we did in this series. The inner genius. The inner genius. <laughs> right. So make sure that you go into this knowing what your goal is. If your goal is to make that child feel every ounce of pain they just caused. Revenge. That's revenge. Yeah. That's like wanting to yeah. get revenge on your kids. And we've all been there. I mean, we might not realize that's what we want, but it is. Oh, sorry. She saw that. Um, make sure that you go in saying, like, I want my child to learn from this situation. Yeah. So then are the steps that you're planning to take, are they going to lead to that goal? Now, if you can't physically remove yourself from the situation, you might need to take a pause in your head, like just quiet. I need a minute yeah. and think it through in your head. But if you can get alone, that would be great. And it's a powerful, powerful tool. The pause. <laughs>